Long before the memory of man, Odin Allfather, chief of the gods, and his brothers combined their strength to slay the primeval giant Ymir, thus forging the world. Under the world tree Yggdrasil, gods and humans dwelled in the realms of Asgard, Midgard, and Niflheim. But their peaceful existence was not to last. The monstrous wolf Fenrir bared its terrible fangs upon the world, threatening all existence. Odin stood and fought against the ferocious wolf and its forces in Asgard. But soon, their conflict would envelop all the worlds in war and chaos. The battle waged on incessantly, splitting the sea and sundering the earth. Innumerable lives were lost and the worlds faced utter destruction. No resolution to the conflict seemed in sight. Then, one day, at the climax of their vicious battle, Fenrir sunk its fangs into Odin's neck, tearing his windpipe, and Odin impaled the beast's skull with his spear, Gungnir. The two could fight no longer, signifying the end of the war on Asgard. However, the destruction did not cease. The mighty blast of Yalmahorn echoed through the lands, proclaiming the coming end. Versed as he was in the Seeress's prophecy, Odin knew all too well that the world was already in the throes of Ragnarok. It was a prophecy that foretold of the end to all things. The twilight of the world before its return to nothingness. In one last attempt to defy this fate, Odin created a new class of gods. Valkyrie, heed my words. Ragnarok tears our world asunder. All we hold precious lies on the brink of annihilation. The war on Asgard and Midgard snuffed out the life spark of many. And I am left gravely injured from battle with that wicked wolf. That is why I created you, my vassal of peace. I, Odin Allfather, command you. Become my tool of intervention and save this world from doom. As you command. Travel to Midgard and purify its lost souls. Even as we speak, the stagnating souls multiply. 
Purification will stem the effects of Ragnarok. It shall be done as you wish, Allfather. I mustn't be distracted. A giant, undead entity. No, wait. It's a... A Nagelfar. Wretched soul, by Odin's command, you shall be purified. Return back from whence you came, lost soul. Speak. Who or what are you? Uh, I am... My name... is Egon. How is it that you became a Nagalfar? Nagalfar? My apologies. I have no idea what just happened here. Your soul attracted the souls of the undead. They distorted you and created a monster. My soul? Who are you, exactly? I am a Valkyrie. Odin has commanded me to purify the souls of the undead. A Valkyrie? Like the goddesses of fate? I've heard of you in the old tales. It is said that you guide the souls of chosen warriors to Asgard. Which would mean... I'm dead. I'm sorry you went through all that trouble for me. I have seen that soul somewhere before. No matter. I must inform Odin of this at once. How fares your mission, Valkyrie? The lingering souls in Midgard are many, but I remain diligent. The world and I are intertwined. For every soul you purify, I grow stronger and my wounds heal faster. I can already feel a little of my power has returned. Thanks to your deeds. It is an honor beyond any other to aid you. I have one more incident to report. On Midgard, I purified a Nagalfar, and it transformed into a human soul. The soul was one of great tenacity and strength. I was even able to converse with it. That is the soul of an Enheria. It is fortunate that you encountered one so soon. An Inherior? Hmm. Perhaps you are due an explanation. Inherior is a title bestowed upon souls who bear strength surpassing their mortal body. They are warriors given the honor to serve us. Then I may also call upon these Inherior to serve me. Indeed. Valkyrie, go to Midgard and seek the remnants of their soul. 
As your vassal of peace, it shall be done. The presence of his soul lingers strongly in this area. You! You followed me. If you came to make me one of your chosen warriors, you're wasting your time. You know why I come to you, and yet you refuse? I failed, Amelia. I allowed my post as a knight to cloud my judgment. I am not fit to serve you, or anyone. For that matter. Through that remorse, you will find your true strength. And it is a truly strong soul I seek to save this world. The world is in danger. It is on the brink of destruction. Asgard, Midgard, the last traces of your home. Even your memories shall cease to exist. You would have me battle. Even in death. If the will to fight still lingers within you, then accept my offer and join me. Your efforts to remain undetected are lacking. Reveal yourself. Who are you? You have yourself an inheritor now, I see. Answer me. Oh, how hopelessly clueless you still are. That must mean you're one of his new creations. Please allow me to conduct a small test of your metal! Impressive. Not just a pretty package. It seems we do not fight for the same cause. And if that were the case? It is simple. Any enemy of Odin must be slain. But why would another Valkyrie try to hinder me? Perhaps I should ask why you, a Valkyrie, need to ask such a trivial question. Explain yourself. <laughs> I am Hilde. And I don't doubt that we shall cross paths again. In due time. Enough of your riddles! If you are an enemy of Odin, then I shall... Hilde. She looked like a Valkyrie. But I get the feeling that she's not on our side. It makes no difference which side she is on. An enemy of Odin has but a single fate ahead of them. We will return to Asgard for now. Okay. Odin, 
I have obtained an Inheria from Midgard. I was then attacked by what seemed to be a Valkyrie clad in black armor. I see. What has become of this Valkyrie? She fled mid-battle. I feared she may stand against you, and thought it necessary to report back. Hmm. I had assumed that they had all been wiped out in the last war. I cannot fathom who this entity might be, but make no mistake. They are your enemy. Be on guard. Understood. I am counting on you, Valkyrie. The fate of the world rests in your hands now. I will not let you down, or father. So this is Gaudba. It was a thriving land in my time, known for its prosperous trade routes and formidable military. Looks a little worse for wear now, but it still has its charm. How about a quick wander round? A wander round? It was just a joke. Don't look at me like that. We have been entrusted to save the world. Any deviation from our duty is unacceptable. I get it. I do. The mission comes first. I haven't forgotten. No deviations. I guess we're really pushed up against the wall. Is that a tree? Only in appearance. It is an amalgamation of a great number of souls. Does that mean it will become a Nagalfar eventually? It is not like a Nagalfar or Enheria. It is merely the build-up of stagnated souls. disappeared. Did you just purify it? I did. Purifying the undead by just touching them. Sure beats having to fight them each time. I sense a similar presence nearby. We should look around. How can this be? Valkyrie. What is it? This hollow blossom. I cannot decipher it. Is that even possible? Maybe it's degraded over time. I don't know, but there's not much I can do if I cannot read it. Let's keep it in mind. Maybe we can work it out later. I should have known these trees wouldn't be so easy to find. But now that I think about it, couldn't you just fly around and look for them from above? We can purify more souls if we keep hunting the undead as we search. I believe it is better this... What's wrong? We are being watched. From over there. Oh, sorry, I... I didn't mean to stare, I just... don't see many people around here these days. Are you travelers? Yes, that's right. We're traveling together. I'm Egan. This is Maria. And you are? I'm Armand. I'm actually a traveler too. I I'm out here looking for something. Despite the world being in the state it is. And if I had to take a guess, I'd say you two are the same. 
Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for strange trees by any chance? As a matter of fact, we are. I came across a whole forest of them a little while back. I could take you there if you want. We'd really appreciate that. Wait. How do we know we can trust him? He may be leading us into a trap. Whoa. You're not supposed to just say stuff like that, you know? Besides, it's not like we have any other leads. I say it's worth whatever small risk there might be. Hmm. I can see the logic in that. We gladly accept your offer of guidance. All right. Follow me, then. <sighs> Who would have thought that working for the gods would be such hard going? Well, here it is. This is what you were looking for, right? Yes, this is it, no doubt. This is incredible. Wait. What's wrong? A Nagalfar. I shall send you to the All Father. Who's that? You bear a powerful soul. What is your name? I'm... You may call me Cypher. Cypher, you have been chosen to become a warrior of the gods. If it is glory that you seek, then take my hand. Glory? I've no interest in that. There's nothing left for me in this world. refuse the greatest honor that a human can receive. I think I know how he feels. I refused once too, remember? Truly incomprehensible. No matter. Let us start with these trees. Once all these souls are purified, Odin's power will grow ever stronger. Um... What did you just do? Something that is beyond your comprehension. You have my thanks for guiding us here. Okay. Well, I guess I'll get going then. Maybe I'll see you around. What a strange guy. How so? I guess having something to work towards, something to find, gives him hope and the strength to carry on. It's incredible how hope can keep people going through just about anything. It makes little sense to me. <sighs> hey, are you okay? Huh? What am I? Oh. How did I get this? Huh. What happened? I can't remember a thing. I need to get this looked at. At least I'm still able to walk. I just... I can't shake this feeling that I'm forgetting something. Something really important. Who's there? Hey, you! What are you? Hey, Valkyrie, 
Are you all right? Uh, yes. It was like you just blacked out there. Were you daydreaming or something? You have no need to worry. We must keep searching for the remnant of that Cypher's soul. Well, well. You found me again. Cypher, the world is on the brink of destruction. Take my hand. Fight as an Inheriar. I thought I had made my answer clear. But why would you refuse? I'm not exactly a natural-born fighter. I don't have what it takes to be some chosen warrior. All I'm good for is counting money. And I couldn't even do that right in the end. Listen, Cypher. The whole world, everything we know and love is about to be destroyed. I've already lost my homeland, and the people I love. I'm like you. I'm not human anymore. But I know deep down that there's something we can do. I don't want to disappear with unfinished business. And I bet you don't either. I just want a chance to make things right. If the world ends, then you shall lose that chance forever. Cypher, I shall give you the power to save this world. I have returned from Midgard, Allfather. The purification of souls goes well, I see. With your labors, the salvation of our world comes ever closer. I will continue to do everything in my power to ensure the world's safety. I expect nothing less of you. Which is why I now issue you my next command. The legendary ship. Skidbladnir is vital to our cause. However, in order to control it, we require certain powerful artifacts. Yes, Allfather. I need you to recover four artifacts, also known as the Four Gifts. Gunganir, the Divine Spear. Leverheen, the Demon Sword. Draufnir. The Golden Band. And lastly, Yalmahorn, the Mighty Horn. These artifacts were kept safe in Asgard for eons, but they were lost in Midgard in the disarray of war. So I am to find these four gifts and bring them back to Asgard? Yes, and you must do so with haste, for we have little time left. The artifacts contain immense power. You should be able to sense them when you return to Midgard. I shall not fail you. Quite a challenge, sending you off to find some gifts that you've never even seen before. Where do we even begin? The four gifts contain an enormous amount of power. 
While on Midgard, it is likely that their power will have an effect on the surrounding area. So I guess we should look for places where something odd is happening. Or perhaps has happened. Yes. And we shall continue to purify any souls we find on the way. Is something the matter? It is her. Hmm. So we meet again. You. Is she another Valkyrie? Oh, you have another Enheria. You have done well to find them with Midgard in such disarray. <laughs> Well, you're certainly livelier than the last time we met. You stand in the way of the Allfather. For that, you must be put to death. Oh, you poor soul. Well, if you wish to die, I am happy to oblige. Hmm. You've improved. Perhaps you have been deluded by some fallen god's trickery. I will grant you a swift death. You deserve that much, at least. Oh, my. <laughs> I do not see the humor in this. Deluded. Me. That's rich coming from one of Odin's puppets. Have you forgotten why we were created? The Valkyries exist only to serve Odin. Do you have any idea what it is that you are saying? Of course. Unlike you, I do not make a habit of uttering nonsense. I see. So you still don't. Why are you stopping? I just realized that this fight is a waste of time. What? There is mercy enough left in me to spare another of Odin's victims. I let her get away again. I get the feeling she might know something that we don't. I would not give too much thought to what she told you. Do you think there's a chance she was working under Odin's orders? A different mission or something? Even if that were the case, I see no reason why she should consider us enemies. She just lost interest in fighting us all of a sudden. I wonder what that was about. I cannot make sense of it. Should we chase after her? It's probably not too late. No. Our mission is to find the Four Gifts. That must take priority above all else. What did she mean? Another of Odin's victims? Is this the place? There's not much here other than this lake. It is here. I can sense a great power nearby. Perhaps the gift has sunk to the bottom. Wait. Something's coming. Those... Nagelfar! And more than one! We shall purify them all. Do not falter! So they had taken the gift 
for themselves. Look, the power is coalescing. So this is one of the four gifts. If I had to guess, I'd say this was Gunga Nia. The Nagelfar must have tapped into its power. Now it makes sense how they were able to put up such a fight. They were unable to control it completely, though. Hence its power contaminating the area. Well now, that's quite some gift. It will continue to wreak havoc every moment it remains on Midgard. We must return it to Asgard post-haste. Allfather, I have recovered one of the four gifts. Exceptional work. I see I was not mistaken in appointing you as my claimer of souls. Thank you, Allfather. I am forever at your service. Now, continue your search for the remaining gifts. They will reveal themselves to you, just as Gunganir did. Yes, Allfather. And do not let your efforts to purify souls wane either. There may yet be souls worthy of becoming your Enheria. The world's annihilation looms ever nearer. You cannot fail in your mission, Valkyrie. I will not let you down, Allfather. I swear. Indeed. For there is so little time left. Hmm. Judging from the architecture here, I do believe that we're in Lucarda. You know, I'd always wanted to visit Lucarda one day. I didn't think I'd have to wait this long, though. Lucarda was already in decline by the time I was born. But my business contacts here would tell me all kinds of stories about its heyday. By all accounts, it was a kingdom soaked in blood, with betrayal and assassination around every corner. What's wrong? Do you sense something? The remnant of a soul. Oh, don't give me that face. This is supposed to be a joyous day. It's just, just, you've grown into such a beautiful princess. It pains me to see you go. Valkyrie, are you okay? I have seen the remnant of another soul. Another Enheriar, perhaps? Possibly. If we follow it, we should be able to find its owner. Knowing our luck, they'll have become a Nagelfar. We should be careful. And if that is the case, we shall offer our protection to you once more. I sense a presence over there. Come on. I know it in my heart. You are me. Consumed by hatred. Unable to die with honor, and driven mad. But to lose all reason and attack defenseless people. You are a failed hero. I will end you here! Who are you? I shall explain later. Ready yourself!
I've yet to fully grasp the situation. But what I do know is that you saved my people. For that, I am grateful. My name is Christopher. I have protected this land and its people as my forefathers did before me. Christopher... <sighs> There's no easy way to tell you this, but I'm afraid your kingdom no longer exists. What? <laughs> it's true. And not just Lucarda. Ramali and Galba are gone too. In fact, pretty much any place you can think of. The world is on the brink of destruction. Midgard kingdoms have crumbled and countless lives have been lost. Yet there are still those who refuse to accept fate. If you wish to protect those people, take my hand. But who are you? I am a Valkyrie, a leader of lost heroes. I seek the souls of warriors to aid me in my quest to save this world. And we are her chosen ones, her Enheriar. I decided that I would rather stand and fight as a soul than fade away to me. Fight as a soul. Very well. Then I pledge my loyalty as your Enheriar until the very end. Then, Christopher, join me and venture onto a new path beyond death itself. Is that... Armand? Hey! You remember me? I'm touched. What has brought you to this place? I come here pretty regularly to bring supplies. You know, medicine, tools, stuff that's hard to come by. Times are tougher than they've ever been. I just thought I could help by running a few errands for people. That's damn good of you. You do all that while you're out there searching for whatever it is. Well, in return, they give me a place to stay and food supplies, so really everyone wins. Does it not occur to you that travelling around like that only heightens your risk of, you know, death? We all die someday, whether we shy away from danger or not. The way I see it, I may as well do something while I'm here. You have been lucky so far. But luck is fickle. You would be wise to abandon this dangerous journey and live in peace while you still can. I appreciate you trying to look out for me, but I can't stop until I've found what I'm looking for. And just what is it that compels you so? I'll tell you someday. I promise. I have a feeling we'll meet again somewhere. Well, See you. It's not like you to show so much interest in a human. Did it seem that way to you? <sighs> Is something the matter? It's another. There are terrible monsters in that fortress, lad. You realize that, don't you? Why trouble yourself going to such a dangerous place? I'm looking for someone. Is that right? And what kind of person would that be? I don't actually know. I've forgotten who they were. Are you mad? I just know that they were someone very special to me. So would you show me the way, please? <laughs> You're a strange one, lad. That's for sure. But very well. I'll do as you ask. Thank you. Then let's get going. How are you feeling? Hmm? It is nothing. You've been pretty quiet for a while now. What's up? I was thinking about humans. It had never crossed my mind before. But there is something undeniably resilient about them. 
Even as the world descends into chaos, they cling to what little hope is left. Right. It's that same resilience that gave our ancestors the strength to build kingdoms. And while we have waged fruitless wars, the people continue to endure every hardship. But were they really as strong as we believe? Or is it just that we refuse to acknowledge all of the weak that perished along the way? It is the duty of the strong to look out for those who cannot defend themselves. And as gods, the strongest of us all, it makes sense that the Valkyrie have a responsibility to protect the people. I have been tasked with preventing the destruction of the world. I cannot spare my attention to each individual. Of course, saving the world from destruction is of the utmost importance. But what meaning is there in saving the world if no one is left to live within it? Well, either way, we have to stop the destruction. Let's just keep focused on our mission. Yes, of course, you're right. Forgive my impudence. Of course. We have found everything we need here. Let us continue searching for the next gift. Christopher, did you happen upon anything peculiar during your travels? Peculiar? Hmm. Yes, now you mention it, I did notice an abnormal number of monsters. That may indeed be worth investigating. Let us survey the area. That's a lot of monsters. What are they up to? They have erected some kind of barrier to impede our passage through. We will have to defeat them all first. Perhaps they have one of the gifts. I do not know. There is a strange presence here. Strange and powerful. I need to get closer. How does the seal look? Formidable. The disruption upon breaking it will completely destroy the surrounding area. But what about the people in the village? They'll get caught up in the blast. Isn't there any other way? I agree with Egon. I realize that our mission is to gather the gifts. But those people have worked so hard to eke out a living. Won't you allow us just a little time to think of a plan? The gift's power is too dangerous. I cannot let it linger here any longer than necessary. Please, Valkyrie. I may, however, be able to stifle the blast. Go, see to the village people's evacuation. Just be quick about it. Your kindness will not be for naught. Come, we have to warn them immediately. I'll help too. We'll be able to get around everyone quicker if we split up. The gift is secure, with the surrounding lands still intact. I suppose we could have skipped the evacuation. Better to be safe than sorry, though. Thank you, Valkyrie, for heeding our words. I did not do it for your gratitude. I simply considered the negative effect to morale if the village were to be lost. But enough of that. To Asgard.